Hello, it's me. Just jumping in at the start here to apologise for the hot mess that this video is because I just couldn't seem to get any of my words out or describe anything. So bear with me, but we'll get through it and you get the gist of the video, I hope. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me again so since Bojo's announcement the other day about our plans to come out of lockdown I feel like everyone's spirits have kind of been lifted a little bit with a bit of hope as to when this is gonna be over and since then I feel like even the weather has took a change and the wind has dropped and the Sun has started to come out so I thought what better way to welcome it than to pick out a few of my outfits ready for spring and share them with you guys. So that is what I've done. So I've got five outfits that I've picked out. A couple of them are on a little bit the warmer side in case there's still quite a bit of chill about and then other ones are really sort of ready for spring. For it to be warm. I'm hoping for another heat wave this year. <laughs> that would that would be good. My first outfit that I have to show you guys is one for when it's a bit chillier. So I have got this big white oversized shirt which is from Zara. Um, this is really sort of oversized fit. It's got really large cuffs and it's just a thin sort of cottony material. It, it needs an iron. <laughs> But I don't do ironing in my house, so it's not, it's not on my roll. And I just paired that with some faux leather trousers, which these are the ones, so they've just got the one button at the top. These are from Matalan, and they're just skinny faux leather trousers, not really much to them. To go with that, I paired it with these leather boots. Now, I mean, can we just... I got these recently from Sheen, Shine, Sheen? After I had seen Ellie Darby wearing some similar, but hers are from Zara, but I just was not gonna pay £100 for a pair of boots. So I went on and had a look, and they had these ones. So I picked these up in size five. They are very tight fitting on my leg, which I really like. And they're just a bit different to anything that I had. I just feel like I will be able to chuck these on with quite a lot of different outfits and they'll make it suddenly look really put together. So I'd really like these. At the same time, when I ordered those boots from Sheen, I also picked up this little bag. So I picked this up from Sheen at the same time and it's just a little side bag in the cow print. Again, faux leather. And it's just got this nice little detail on the front there with the little head. And it's just then got a long silver chain strap with kind of the faux leather bit at the top as well. And just to finish that look off as well now, because the sun is coming out, we have to start pairing sunglasses with every outfit again. So of course I did, and I have quite a large collection of sunglasses. So with this outfit, I paired these sunglasses with them. These are actually maybe the pair that I've had the longest. They're just from ASOS. I don't tend to pay out a lot of money for sunglasses because I like to change them all the time with outfits. So I buy just cheaper ones just to kind of throw on. The next outfit that I have is again one on the warmer scale of things. So it is this rust coloured knitted dress. So it is a v-neck, it has long sleeves and it is kind of a like a um, mid axi length. <laughs> I got this maybe two winters ago actually and I got in this colour and I also got it in a black as well and I wear them all the time they're so comfy they're really fitted and I just think I just think it's a nice alternative to like a normal dress so I paired that with then this brown little bum bag so this is a DKNY bag I got it from TK Maxx I think um, just because I got it when I was going on holiday and I wanted a bum bag but it's actually coming really handy it goes with quite a lot with it being that kind of neutral brown tone and yeah I just thought this around the waist a cute little addition to the dress so to keep in check with the spring vibes for that outfit I paired them with these shoes which are just little slip-on mules I got these I think I got these from TK Maxx as well as the belt and yeah they're just really simple nice kind of summery shoes 
and of course I couldn't not pair it with some sunglasses so I paired it with these sunglasses these are probably one of my favorite pairs I've had them for ages and I think they were literally just from Primark but they're just so different and I think if I can ever find a expensive better made pair of this exact glasses then I will pay out for them because I wear these all the time and they just add a bit of something extra to an outfit so now I've started to move into more of the spring vibes I find that spring clothes are kind of like summer clothes that you can wear without being too hot or cold they're kind of in between obviously because it's in between the summer and winter months so if you think about it so for my next outfit I paired this which is like a coral oversized denim shirt jacket kind of thing it has balloon sleeves and kind of the detail in, on the shoulders and on the cuffs with the ruche and then it just has the little pop yeah I just I got this for Christmas and it's just something again something different I find that I tend to buy a lot of the same sort of clothes so I've been really trying to buy stuff that I don't have anything like so that I have a range a range of outfits to go at so I paired this denim shirt and I've just tied that up at the waist to bring it in a little bit and I paired it with this midi skirt which I got a while ago which is just a polka dot and then further down it does have a split if I can find it there we go <laughs> it has this split just there and then paired it with my Alexander McQueen trainers which I've seen better days but they're still wearable <laughs> And um, for accessories with that one, I paired it with some black cat eye sunglasses, again these are just from Primark, and this Perspex clear bag, just with kind of like a dark silver chain on that one. Okay, now I'm about to hold this next outfit up, I realise that I really should have actually ironed this one probably, but it's just, I just think it's a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? So, I have got this pink and red t-shirt which is from Pretty Little Thing. This one is one that I got not too long ago, I think it's still on my site. It's just, it's just a basic t-shirt really. But I have paired that with some white culottes that I got. These really need an iron but hey ho. Which are these ones and they just have kind of the little belt buckle on the waist. They're high waisted and they are a wider leg and they stop just sort of a few centimetres above my ankle. I got these and they're from Primark and I have worn them actually quite a lot to be fair. They're really, really comfy and they're not as see-through as a lot of white trousers are. Then for shoes and accessories with that outfit, I paired it with my pink checkerboard Vans, which really need a wash. They've clearly been worn through like a muddy field or something, but not survive. So I paired it with those checkerboard Vans and then I paired it with this clutch bag, which I absolutely love this bag. And I rarely ever get to use it because I just don't really go anywhere that it's appropriate for. I use it more like on holiday. But I got this and it's from TK Maxx and it's just a big clutch bag. It's got the little tassels on the zip there and it's just embroidered in these really bright colors. And it's pretty big inside to be fair, but I just love that. It's quite a thin one as well. So I paired it with that and then of course, pink sunglasses <laughs> just to finish off the whole pink look again TK Maxx I seem to like TK Maxx a bit don't I I just think they have a lot of stuff that other places you'd never see so I do actually go in TK Maxx quite a lot and I do like to have a good rummage but you've really got to be in the mood for it because it's one of the places where unless you're gonna have a deep look you're not gonna find anything and um, because it's spring and not summer I did actually pair a jacket with that one just to give me a bit of extra warmth so I just paired it with my oversized denim jacket which is in this really light acid wash denim and it's super super oversized I got this from I think I got it from like a, um, a pop-up thrift store where they kind of do that thing where it's like you pay for your clothes by weight rather than by item so it's like so much money per kilo I've worn this non-stop so it is a really good throw on just over the top of stuff then my final outfit that I put together was this blue and yellow floral dress this is from Primark you probably have seen this about because it was in last summer's stock I love this dress I actually wore it non-stop because it's so comfy it's really airy and nice for when it's warmer weather it's just got the buttons down the front, it's got a tie at the waist, and then it gets to sort of your knee and it opens up into a split. 
it looks really pretty on. It's got balloon sleeves as well, which adds something a bit extra to it. And it was super, super cheap. I think it was literally like about 13 pounds, which good old Primarni, can't wait for them to reopen. <laughs> I then paired this with my leather jacket, which is kind of a fitted leather jacket. I got this years ago now from Zara, and it's just a really nice soft leather jacket. I have actually been looking for more of an oversized fit one recently, but I just haven't kind of found the right one yet. Then for shoes and accessories with this one, I paired it with my dot lines. I love these boots, and it took me so long to decide to buy them because they were so expensive. Like just, I don't even want to talk about how expensive they were. But I love them, I wear them with so many different outfits. I really like them in this kind of style with like a ditzy dress and like a girly dress. Or with jeans and like an oversized coat. I just think they go with everything to be honest. I really like them, I like that they've got the thicker sole. And they're just different. I mean, maybe not now, After, to be fair, after I bought them, I started seeing loads of people wearing them and I'm like, mm, can I just jump on a bandwagon? <laughs> not realise. But I don't care because I love them and I've had them for about two years now and they're still in perfect condition. And then with the bag, I went with my black kind of little satchel side bag in the, it's in like a croc print. It's got the gold hardware and it's just a really structured bag and it's also got the longer strap as well. Um, my final pair of sunglasses <laughs> is these little black cat eye ones. They're a slimmer version of a cat eye sunglasses in more of like a delicate kind of um, metal frame rather than plastic. Just really cute, add a bit of something. I feel like that's my description for all my sunglasses, just they add a bit of something, but they do. Okay guys, so that is all my outfits for today. I hope you have liked this video. I've actually really enjoyed planning this video because it made me kind of look at my clothes in a different way that I wouldn't normally pair them together. I've really enjoyed planning it and kind of seeing different looks. So I hope you guys have too. If you would like to see more of this sort of thing, please give it a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do one of these videos heading into summer as well, without a doubt. Or even maybe one for like coming out of lockdown outfits. Since it got announced, um, the date planned, let's say planned, for the clubs to reopen, all I've seen everywhere is everyone reposting that thing where it's like, what you wearing? <laughs> what you wearing 21st of June? And I feel like that is my mindset at the moment. It's like, oh my God. I'm gonna go out again. What am I gonna wear? <laughs> that is all for my video today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe as always, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. I don't wanna say that, that's not what I'm trying to say. So this is just a little, uh, so it's just a little side bag. <clears throat> oh my God, I can't speak today. I think, 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 think. Mm -mm. Please subscribe. <laughs>